world as we know it will soon come to an end. The end of the world, also referred to as the apocalypse, doomsday or judgment day, is something so unimaginable that some dismiss it as just a fantasy. Others spend a major part of their lives trying to discover the date of the end. We have no plan B. It is going to happen. But what is the truth about the end of the world? Are there real signs that the end is near? The catastrophic earthquake in Chile was so powerful, it knocked the earth off of its axis and shortened the length of the day. Find out today on Face the Truth. Welcome to Face the Truth, a program brought to you by The Church of Christ. I'm Brother Barry Thompson. The talk of Judgment Day or the end of the world is so intriguing that it has become the subject matter of many Hollywood movies that depict the world ending. Now while there are those who believe it's more than just a story or some kind of movie, there are others who believe it's just a fantasy. Others go as far as saying it's just something religions have invented to scare people into joining a religion. Now, to support their belief that the end of the world will not happen, they cite the various predictions that many have made, which have obviously been false because we're still here. Let's take a look at this. February 1st, 1524, Johannes Stoffler predicted in 1499 that the world would be flooded again because all six of the planets known then would be in conjunction in the constellation of Pisces. English astrologers set the date for February 1st, 1524. People sold their waterfront properties, even if they lost profit, and an elevated fortress was built at the Priory Church of St. Bartholomew the Great, with two months' worth of necessities. Boat builders became filthy rich, as families commissioned arts to be built to protect themselves when the flood arrived. 1814, Joanna Southcott. According to her visions, she was pregnant with the next Christ and would give birth to him on Christmas Day of that year. Despite the certainty that she had already gone through menopause and could no longer reproduce, Southcott was convinced that she was the next Mary. The second coming of Jesus would mean Judgment Day. She died instead. 1982, Pat Robertson, he said, I guarantee by the end of 1982, there's going to be a judgment on this world. March 26, 1997, Marshall Applewhite, leader of Heaven's Gate cult. The founder of the cult, Marshall Applewhite told his followers that the world was due to be wiped clean by the alien founders and that they needed to leave the earth. 39 members of the Heaven's Gate cult had committed mass suicide, believing their souls would be transported to a spaceship trailing the Haley Bob Comet. March 31, 1998, Han Ming Chen leader of the True Way Taiwanese cult. Chen believed that God would appear on American cable television on the morning of March 31, 1998. He relocated his cult to Garland, Texas because the town's name sounded like Godland to them, to wait for the rapture to happen. When God did not appear on TV as he had predicted, Chen offered to let his disciples crucify him, which they declined. Now everyone who has predicted the world would end on a certain date has obviously gotten it wrong because we're still here. Now even this preacher from Oakland who you probably remember seeing in the news. At 6 p.m. Robert Fitzpatrick looked at his watch, waited, and nothing happened. I 
I am utterly, absolutely, absolutely convinced it is going to happen. And that'll be the beginning of Judgment Day. Well, you likely heard the headlines that the world, according to some, was supposed to end last night this time. And tonight, for those true believers who were looking forward to heaven, the absence of disaster, well, it's now the disaster. I don't understand what happened. This is the year. All the calculations indicate this is the year. Those calculations were made by this man, radio evangelist Harold Camping, who claimed he had unlocked secrets written in code in the Bible. May 21 came and went. Now, the string of false predictions have turned many people today into skeptics about Judgment Day or the end of the world. But does that mean that the world won't end? Find out when we return on Face the Truth. <laughs> 